China is the world's largest consumer of pork, as well as the largest pork producer. To feed almost half a billion hogs, China is the biggest importer of many types of agricultural goods like soybeans that are used for animal feed. Many small-scale family-operated pig farms are found throughout rural China. Selling pigs to locals who butcher and process the pigs themselves for their own household consumption. Pigs were traditionally raised by rural households and were a source of both meat and manure. These days, consumption per capita of pork is higher in China than the European Union, despite the European Union having a higher per capita GDP. Pigs are significant in Chinese culture and history. Pork was historically only served on special occasions, and this may be part of the reason it is associated with prosperity. Pigs are a symbol of fertility and prosperity. The Chinese character for home is a pig under a roof. The words pork and meat are interchangeable in Mandarin. Mao described the pig as a walking fertilizer plant because they can consume and digest just about anything they come across. Furthermore, they can convert around 35% of calories into meat in contrast to sheep, 13%, and cattle, 6.5%. There are around half a billion hogs in China. China features the world's only pork reserve system. Pork is predicted to remain a key part of the Chinese diet, but consumption of chicken and beef is rising slowly and steadily. Pork is a staple food in China. China consumes roughly half of the global pork produced. Pork consumption in China is increasing due to the growing Chinese middle class that enjoys the versatility flavor, and affordability of pork. Despite its widespread consumption, pork is more expensive in China than most industrialized countries, probably due to the lack of industrial scale seen in Western pig farming. One pig farm company president admits as much when he states China's current pig breeding is still decades behind the most advanced nations. This provides us with room for improvement to catch up. Despite government intervention and encouragement of industrial standardization, the pork market remains volatile. The Chinese government has been encouraging consolidation of pork farming through large-scale commercial operations that can leverage economies of scale. In 2007, an estimated 45 million hogs in China died from blue ear pig disease, resulting in a price spike and supply issues. The Chinese government views small-scale pig operations as a threat to the stability of the pork industry because of their perceived inability to prevent disease outbreaks and tendency to slaughter uh, sows, female pigs, during price spikes. These large firms use technology like intensive feeding and controlled environment systems. A 26-story, 2.6 million square foot pig farm located in Hebei has the capacity to slaughter 1.2 million pigs annually. Hebei Modern Farming started as a cement investment group but has since switched to pig farming. It is not a coincidence that the pig farm is next door to the company's cement factory. The pig farming facility costs over 4 billion yuan or 557 million U.S. dollars. In 2022, it submitted over 10 patent applications regarding livestock wastewater treatment, feed transportation, and ventilation technology systems. The first sows arrived in September 2022. Pig feed travels on a conveyor belt to the top floor where it is stored in tanks that can deliver more than 1 million pounds of feed a day. There are over 30,000 automatic feeding stations controlled from a central control room.